Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining Metals. And on today's video, I need to give you a little bit of context, a little bit of pretext. We build crushers, right? We crush all sorts of stuff. We crush all sorts of weird stuff. I've crushed oyster shells, bones, raw chicken, uh, sintered metal blocks, all sorts of ores. Uh, we, we've crushed replacement human body parts like fake knees and fake hips and stuff. Uh, but on today's video, I'm crushing some apples. I got an email from a guy from the UK who runs a cidery, and he saw some of our videos of our hammer mills crushing weird stuff, and he thought there might be an application for his cidery to crush apples for making apple cider. So I'm gonna take one of our 16 by 12 gas-powered hammer mills, and I'm gonna take it out to a little apple orchard I know. We're gonna crush up some apples, and Jim gets to see his apples get crushed and I am gonna make some apple juice so let's get out to the orchard we'll get this hammer mill fired up and we'll see if we can add crushed apples to our list of weird things that we've crushed so a quick little rundown on the mill here this is a 16 by 12 gas powered hammer mill you see the Honda Honda gas engine over there behind it it's got a quarter inch screen in there. It's a quarter inch slot. It's about three inches long. There you go. That's the right direction. And uh, we're going to be running with hammers today. I thought about putting some blades in there, like shredder blades, uh, but we got hammers instead. So we'll use hammers. And I'm going to just dump the apples down the top, the orange chute up here. It's going to beat all those apples up and it's going to come out the bottom, that chute right there. Well, I'm not an apple guy, but here's some apples. They're pretty good. So let's crush them up and make juice out of them. All right, a couple of buckets of apples here these crushed up. Well, holy moly, that thing will crush apples. I, uh, it'll, <laughs> it'll crush them way faster than I can pick them, I'll tell you that. Uh, but let's take a look at our, our apple mash here. This is, this is what came out. And uh, it looks pretty, pretty mashed up to me, pretty beat up. It, uh, it's just dripping with juice. You can see it just dripping off there. I don't, I, I think, I think this looks pretty good to me. So Jim, there you go. It'll crush apples. Well, we know it'll crush apples. So now I've got a, a press. I bought this off Amazon there 
we're gonna put the apple ground up apples in there i guess there's a little cheesecloth thing i'm gonna put that in there and then i can manually screw that thing down it presses the juice out it'll run out that little spout there so let's see how this works Well, hey, look at there. We're juicing. I'm not even doing anything. I just dumped my, my mash. I, I think it's called apple mash. I dumped my mash in there, and man, the juice started pouring out of there. I don't have all my... I wasn't prepared. I don't have all my stuff set up here. Boy, we're just... We got juice running everywhere here. Okay. Can't do it with, with film at the same time. Hold on. Whoa, we're about to lose it. Wow, there's a lot there's a, there's a lot of juice. I didn't think I'd have this much juice. Just for I mean I haven't even pressed anything yet. It smells good. Oh, oh, that tastes good. That's good stuff. Let's see if I can figure out how to work this thing. You must. What do you think? You coil this bag around like that? I don't know. I didn't read the directions. Oh, boy. I didn't even. I don't. <laughs> I don't have enough container. So I've got, I've got over, I've got over two liters right now, and I haven't even pressed it yet. So that's two liters full up here, and I got that much more. And look, I can just, I just push my hands. Whoa! Look at the juice run out of there. Look at that. Woo! Maybe I should go in the apple juice making business. Holy oh, cow. All right, let's see. Uh, I think you're supposed to take these blocks. Stack them in there, kind of like that, I guess. So here, let me show you what I did. I just kind of stacked those blocks up and now I can screw that thing down and press that that juice out there's a little <laughs> there's a little design defect I can't you're supposed to get this handle in there but I can't get my handle in there once it goes down past the ring the ribs there but I think I can just hand squeeze. Oh yeah. Oh man, that's good juice. Well, I think we're at the point of kind of diminishing returns here. There's our mash down there. And I don't know if you can get any more out of it. I mean, you probably could, but let's crush up some more apples and make some more juice. I've got, I've converted into a five gallon bucket now, so I'm, I don't know, a third of the way full already with those two, those two five gallon buckets worth of apples. 
So let's keep going. So there's what it looks like. There's still quite a bit of juice in there. Let me run a couple more buckets through the hammer mill and I'll just put it right on top of this and we can, we can really get a good squeeze on her. Okay, here comes our next batch of apple mash. Oh, and here comes the juice. Pay attention. And I was thinking I've, I ran this last batch here, and so far all together we've done, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe 15 or 18 gallons of, of apples. I had four, four or five gallon buckets that were, you know, four gallons full. And uh, you could do all sorts of different fruit. You could do grapes, you could do cherries, you could do pears, you could do, I mean, you, could, you, can, you can juice anything. Put it in there and we'll juice it. Um, and this is kind of cool. I have, I have a little bit of a confession. I was not very excited to make this video. I didn't, I mean, I knew it would crush the apples, but I didn't think it would know, make this much juice and stuff. And this is pretty cool. <laughs> I think this is, you can come out to an old apple orchard, put the mill right in the truck, and, uh, you know, you can make apple juice right in the field. You don't have to haul it back or do anything. It's all kind of self-contained and I mean, if you're going to do it for real, you're going to have to get a little better system than than this Amazon thing. But um, yeah, it's pre it's pretty cool. And and obviously, you know, this is one of the things that Jim and I talked about via, on on email is uh, this hammer mill right now probably isn't food grade. Uh, well, it's not food grade. And uh, so he was talking about making you know stainless steel step parts and, and different hammers or blades or something and uh, that's all stuff we can do we, we can we can make the the hammer mill out of whatever material you need whether it's stainless or or whatever um, the design will stay the same so we can we can really kind of tailor the machine to whatever you want to do with it but man look at the juice running out of there that is so cool I did not I did not think we would have this much juice. Alright, let's try our little squisher here. But yeah, I think the the mobile oops. The ability to have it mobile where you can just drive around and drive right up to the tree rather than having to transport all the apples or the pears or whatever, I guess, back to the crusher. I don't know if that's an advantage or not. And we can make them, you know, this is a gas one because I wanted to bring it out and crush it in the field, but. We make them electric three phase. So if you have a cidery or a, you know, a winery or something and you need to crush at your plant, we can obviously make those as well. Let's try this little thing here. Oh yeah. Now we're squeezing. So I don't know if this is the weirdest thing I've ever crushed. 
but it's fun. It's one of the it's one of the the most fun things I've crushed in a long time. Just because you have a real world application. I mean, I you know I know what apple juice is and I know where it comes from, and so it's kind of cool. A lot of the stuff we crush is for industrial applications, and it you can't really. It's not very relatable, whereas this is, you know, I can go to the store and buy a gallon of apple juice right now. Or I can go out in the field and crush my own. Man, this is cool. Okay, well, the total destruction is about 16, 18 gallons worth of apples. We ended up with probably three and a half gallons worth of juice. And man, that hammer mill, that thing can crush some apples, man. That thing just eats through them fast. Uh, and then this this little thing is kind of cool. I didn't I didn't have real high hopes for it, but it did the job. We got all all four uh, buckets worth of apples are in that thing right now, and it squished them down to I don't know halfway. So that that's pretty cool. That little thing. That little thing's kind of kind of a cool little deal. So that's how you crush apples with a hammer mill. I think it, I think it worked great, and I think uh, that if if food grade isn't a concern and you can use it just like that as an industrial machine, I, I think it's ready to crush apples. If you need to make it out of stainless or alter it in some way to make it food grade, we can do that. Um, but man, I think it's a crushing, juicing machine. Crush. Uh, you guys tell me what you want to juice. Let's juice stuff. I'm, I'm into juicing now. That's pretty cool. It's always it's always fun to do something a little bit different. Um, this is this is a unique sample for me, and I had a lot of fun running the apples and then juicing them. So I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know what you think. Is this is this going to revolutionize the apple cider industry, or is this kind of a, a fun little thing to do on the side? So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.